and welcome to chapter 36 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Well, first thing is congratulating all of those of you who have made it until here, those of you who have joined in and thank you all. We will make one further block and this will be the last one in the course to complete our shop. We will see a lot of things, we will follow those petitions you sent and some things I believe to be necessary as well to end up this course, this video, video tutorial. Um, Okay, as I know you're interested in moving on quickly, I won't beat about the bush anymore and I will go to the to the point. Okay, but this level, um, after 35 chapters I understand you've got under control most of the things, you've been playing around, you've been changing things, even some of you have started your own shop. In this block we will see plenty of things, many new stuff too. I will go quite fast over the things, explaining things just as before but going over some things we've seen many times in order to squeeze every minute we've got, okay? Right, so the first thing we will do and that you've requested from me in many occasions is the subcategories thing. Uh, if you remember, in our online shop we just had a, uh, one category, boots, tracking, um, we didn't have subcategories, so to say. Okay, so let's carry out the, the whole procedure to establish some subcategories. To do it, we must bring the following thing. I can do this. Inside each category, I can have or have not uh, products. I mean, uh, when I click in boots, I will get here all the menus or submenus or subcategories inside boots. <coughs> Obviously, now there isn't any because I haven't touched the code since chapter 35. So we can do it in two ways. Either I click in boots and I don't get anything here, so to say, and when I select the subcategory, I get the products or else I can create products that are linked at all the levels that is, I can have products within the boots category and also within a subcategory of boots they can be in both levels if you want, and in order to make it more complete and taking for granted you've got quite a high level in this field uh, we will make the products to be in both levels, both in boots and in the sub-levels we will create Okay, for it, the first thing we've got to do is going to our Navicat, as always. We start the WAM, as usually. I don't need to tell you this. Uh, we go to our database, which is shoes, right? And if we open the table TBL category, we can see it's made up of the following items. We have an ID category and a description and not much else. Okay, how do we organize?